What's, what's the name of the squad, the name of the team? Like, I thought the brigade. Yeah, what a brigade. brigade, bro. You down with that? I like it. The beast. The brigade. The animal. The brains. The meow meow. It's like, we're, yeah. we're like the A-team. We formed this, you know, alliance called the brigade, and I have no clue what a brigade is. It came out of Enzo's brain, and, you know, he's from Philly or Jersey. I don't know where he's from, and you don't never know what comes out of his mouth. So as far as, far as the nominations, here's what I'm thinking. All right, so far, so okay, okay, Brendan is unaccounted for the night of one dark. So I think, put Brendan up. The closest person to him in the house is Rachel. So put them up together. Put them up I together. Think. And I think, I think people are going to want to keep Rachel. The only reason I should suggested Rachel is because she's spending so much time with Brendan. He's a very good competitor. He's good with the ladies. I think that's the best way to go right now. Brendan and Rachel, I don't really care if they're in a showmance or not. I just don't want them to be aligned together. It's better if, you know, to squash that and get rid of it right away. We're going to take over, you know what I mean? I've nominated you, Brendan, and you, Rachel, for eviction. Here we go. The game has begun. I'm a genius right now. I'm, I'm like a mastermind. If we form together like we're supposed to, and the chips fall where they're supposed to fall, forget about it. I mean, this house is going to get torn apart. And I'm going to work my ass off to win that POV. Right. If I win POV, I'm coming off the block. So, and then that means we're, this game's starting all over. Obviously, you're going to feel a little threatened if, if I come off the block. I would be worried if I was you. Brendan's on the block. He comes up and threatens me. Is this guy nuts? Brendan, you've won the first power of veto of the summer. You're welcome. No, that's, that's unbelievable. Appreciate it. Word. I am pretty pissed off right now. What a blunder today, man. Yeah, it was a blunder. What's the deal now? You can write a Rachel. If we put that the and somehow it gets up. So now we got the three-person alliance in the house with Annie, Rachel, Brendan. And we've dumped out someone who is totally useless and there's no reason to get rid of right now. Wow, man. We know that Brendan, Annie, and Rachel are working together. They're an alliance of three. If Brendan takes himself off the block, then the brigade has to figure out who's the better player to take out of Rachel or Annie. I say we backdoor Annie. I think if you're gonna make a power move like that, you do it now, because no one knows about the brigade. I don't see Annie staying over Rachel, so why not get her out? Let's put up Annie this week. Uh, we gotta tell her, you know. Let's backdoor Annie. Let's get Annie to f out. Of here. I have decided to use the power of you on myself. <laughs> Annie. I'm sorry, Annie. I really am. Rachel, Annie, eventually they both need to go. Right now, all that matters is keeping the brigade a secret and keeping it strong. That's it, man. When Annie gets food, it's easy. She's gonna be like those. So we did the whole thing. We orchestrated the whole thing. Beginning to end. Right, the brigade is running the house. Everything could not be going better. It's almost comical. When Annie's looking all crazy like that, it just basically ensures that she's gonna go out this week, which is exactly what the brigade has in plan, so that's great. She's gotta go. Not beat the brigade, that's it. Uh, all right, man, I'll see you. All right. So Annie, grab your gun, and you're out of here. Annie. Danny. Annie. You are evicted. Rachel, congratulations. The answer is 330. You are the new head of household. Snap. That is crazy. We gotta rethink this. We gotta regroup and figure out what's going on here. Now, if one of us get put up, I think Rachel likes me for sure. But she's not. She can't think for herself. I think nothing's gonna be too gross. Up late. Here you go now. <laughs> yeah, we really did. <clears throat> we gotta, what are we gonna do, dude? First of all, we know it's Brendan. 
oh, making decisions. Yeah, yeah, Rachel, all she has is a key and pictures. Yeah, that's all she got. Brendan's age, I just think. Yeah. Because right, I don't know, I have a clue what's going to happen. Mm hmm. Like, not the slightest clue. Brendan's holding all the cards. I put him and Rachel both up, he could turn it back on me and put me up week two. And it would be understandable. Everybody would think, okay, that makes sense. Might have to make some moves this week. Mm hmm. The people that I'm gonna want to get rid of are people that I feel uneasy about and I feel could turn on us. Like right. the Enzos and the Lanes. The other wild card that I'm not quite sure is with Matt, too. Because the wild cards can with us, you know what I mean? I know for sure if you guys put up Brittany and Monet, yeah. that's not gonna create waves with anybody. Brendan and Rachel are throwing out names of the brigade. I'm deflecting bullets. I'm throwing back other names. I'm doing anything I can to make sure the brigade stays safe this week. I've nominated you, Monet, and you, Brittany, for eviction. Brittany, you are the winner of the Golden Power of Veto. 14 seconds, man. I came so close to winning the veto. That's like one quickie with the wifey, man. Congratulations, Brittany. The brigade truck just blew another tire. We're out of gas right now. Everything has gone opposite of what we wanted. We got to strategize something new. How the hell does Brittany win that day? They're gonna have to put somebody up. Brittany wins the veto competition. Now someone's gotta get put back on the block. So now we gotta watch out. We don't know. Put up. I'm biting my tongue to even say this, but I think you at least have a better shot of even putting me up. If you really want Monet out. Andrew has had so much surrounding him since day, literally day one in the house. And if me being on the block makes it work out better, then it works out better, you know? Obviously, you go up as a bond, we're obviously offering you protection <sighs> later on. Hmm. Well, I know this is a monster-sized risk I'm taking here, but it is a win-win situation. I get the trust of Brendan and Rachel, and on the other hand, I am the hero of the brigade. I'm putting my neck out on the line, so uh, everyone benefits here, uh, particularly myself. I'm okay going up. What do you want in return? During the POV speech, make it pretty clear. That you're Matt, a pawn. I'm putting up as a pawn, I hope. Like, be explicit. Yeah. I, I, I want Monet to leave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the last thing is, if, if it's cool if I act blindsided by this. Yeah. Just I like, like that, that we didn't have this kind yeah, of, and yeah, I didn't yeah. offer myself up sure. for it. Right. I would prefer that. She pulled me upstairs. She wants to put Andrew up, but I volunteered myself to be put up as a pawn. If this doesn't solidify my trust to the brigade, I don't know what does. Matt offered himself as a pawn. There's no chance I would ever volunteer to be a pawn. But, you know, he did it. We all feel good about it. I think it's a good move for the brigade. I think I'll stay, I hope. <sighs> You're safe. You sure? I swear on anything. You swear. I can't do it. Can't do it. That type of loyalty is huge, and it shows that he's definitely down for the brigade and that he wants to make it to the final four. Here's the veto on myself. My replacement nominee is Matt. I've been working to make sure that you're being used as a pawn. I'm sorry, Monet. For the second week in a row, the brigade is running the house. I'm totally orchestrating everything. I had Rachel doing exactly what I wanted. We are a powerhouse alliance. Matt volunteered to go up as a pawn because I wanted to put Andrew up. He said, if you want to get Monet to go home, then you need to put me up. And I Matt was like... Matt said this? Yeah. Did Matt tell you he wouldn't come after you and Brendan? Yep. He said, he said, I will go up as a pawn, and I will not come after you and Brendan. <laughs> Matt's playing the game, Rachel. 
but would you mind if we had a house meeting really quick? Thanks. With more craziness? Matt approached me and said, hey, if you want Monet to go home, then use me as a pawn. I mean, you guys... <laughs> Did you say that? I don't believe those were my exact words. Those were your exact words, Matt. You think whatever you want, I think. You can say what you want, Matt. You got busted. You got... It's, it's open. Nothing I'm saying. You were trying to play both sides. What side am I playing? Does, is anyone here of an alliance with me? I don't know what's going on as far as, like, sides. That's I don't, what I'm saying. I don't know side? if there's any alliances. I don't know I don't, what's going on Is anyone here of an alliance with me? It's all you, Chenbot. Take it away. Okay. Oh, calling out the Chenbot. I like that. I love that. you, baby. I love you. All right. Monet. 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 By a vote of seven to two, Matt, you're safe. Monet, you've been evicted. After Matt wins, still we got to keep the brigade a secret. So inside, I'm saying, Matt, I want to punch you in the face, but in a good way. Good job, man. About time. Brogate. 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 Let's just throw yo, it out. Yo, big up, yo, big up. Let's throw Maddie, it yo. out, dude. Big up to yo. Maddie right here, yo. Brogate. Yo, we we finally catch a break. That we finally catch a break in here. Yo, what? It is so awesome to finally get the brigade together. Celebrate our awesome victory, plan my reign of terror to roll through this house. Dude, the brigade train is churning along. Brendan and Rachel have to go, bro. They, it, it's, there's no question about it. See, this was perfect, what they did to you. Now, everyone in the house understands that you should definitely get revenge on them now. You know what I mean? Like, everything is in, like, everything's ready, everything's set. A public enemy number one for the brigade would have to be Brendan or Rachel. We want to get grimy this week with it, so. That's the plan. I think Rachel would be like more of a scapegoat because she did to me. And that, all that exactly. So of course I'm gonna listen to the brigade. They have their opinions on what I should do involving Brendan and Rachel, but Kathy tried to vote me out. So uh, Kathy's kind of on my radar personally. Rachel, you're safe. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Matt. So, I've nominated you, Kathy, you, Andrew. Yeah, Maddie, better have a backdoor plan uh, ready to go here. You know, we got to break up the super couple here with, uh, you know, Brendan or Rachel. I hope he's got a masterpiece uh, ready to unfold. Matt, the brains of the brigade go to two floaters this week. I don't know what he's doing. We were hoping for a power move, and he puts up Kathy and Andrew. Are you going to try and back to a brand new region? I don't know. I mean, whatever you guys think. I'm open to either. We just got to make sure that everyone in the house knows that they got to use Vita. Or There's no reason to not do that. Yeah, think about it like this. If it's Kathy and Andrew sitting up there on the block and Brittany wins the power of Vita. Is she using it? Is yes. she going to use it? She has yeah. to. It's so obvious what's going on yeah. that it doesn't need to be stated. What if all of us get like, yeah, that's that's awesome. That'd be, that'd that'd be awesome. That would be great. I mean, if Brittany and Rachel are sitting there safe, I don't see anyone not using it. I mean, People want one of them out. That's why I keeping them off. It's like, okay, it's obvious the video needs to be used. So I was toying with the idea of backdooring Brendan originally, but after talking to the brigade, it sounds like everybody wants that to happen. So if the opportunity presents itself, I think that might be a good idea to do. Do you think it'll backfire? No, it makes sense. And let's go with it. It has to work. I think it'll work. Yeah. Everything yeah. always works out for us. Uh, <laughs> no, I, I think it will. So the plan now for the brigade is to backdoor Brendan or Rachel. We have to keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully they don't get called for the POV. And then the couple is toast and it's a cakewalk. Brendan.
Rachel. The total number of eyeballs is 148 eyeballs. Congratulations, Brendan. You have earned the point and the power of veto. Congratulations. Thank you, Enzo. You have won the power of veto. You're amazing. Time to figure out plan B. Matt, you idiot. You're supposed to be the brains of the operation, and this is your genius plan? Brendan or Rachel could have been going home this week. Instead, they're both safe, sweet, and sound. This is a nightmare, dude. We're screwed. We all trusted Matty. He made a blunder this week. We wanted Brendan or Rachel out. Looks like that's not gonna happen. Yeah, I don't think uh, Maddie's the brains of our alliance anymore. I think he's just a gremlin now, that's it. Brendan and Rachel, I'm coming after you. And Brendan, I would like for you to give me the power of veto. Save me. I have decided not to use the power of veto. What the was that? This is unbelievable. So, I was kind of leaning towards keeping Andrew in the house. What are you talking about? The next biggest target's Andrew. Which is why it's good to keep him, whereas if Kathy's here, the next bigger target is one of us. Yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah. Oddly enough, because Andrew put such a big target on his back, he might be the right person to keep in this house. If he's in here, everyone's still gunning for him and not the brigade. So, like, it's not just who you vote off, it's who you leave in the house sometimes, too. Yeah. We could leave a target that takes the eyes off of us. Yeah. So it's like, do we keep Kathy because she's useless? Yeah, she's useless, but she's not gonna win. So do we get it with Andrew because he's a stronger partner? I mean, I'd like to keep him just because I think there's gonna be friction. It's gonna be great. That's what I'm saying. You know? Like, anything that diverts people's attention from the brigade is cool. We gotta play this off smart, you know? Is there a weak link? in your brigade alliance? Uh, if there's a weak link, it's Hayden. There's a definite possibility that he is in cahoots with Kristen. Um, we have to be really, really careful. What do you mean? Yeah. I would do whatever it takes to keep me and you safe. I felt like I said Obviously, I'm loyal to the brigade, but Kristen is someone special, and I'm gonna do everything I can to keep the both of us safe in this game. Like, I like Kristen up every night there with each other. Hayden spent a lot of time with Kristen. I don't know if he's trying to get a digits or whatnot. I don't know if he's trying to run game on it, but it's definitely getting suspicious. Hayden's got to remember, bros before hoes. Let's say they're friends. Brigades roll them. You can just uh, keep her to like the final five, like as much as you can, and then turn on us or like. I'm telling she's got a dog. I'm telling you this right now. If she's last that long, she's got a dog side. Because here's what's she'll, she'll snap on us. Let's she's say got a friends. dog side. I don't too. think, even if they're friends, I don't think he's gonna turn on us. Hopefully, they don't have it. Anything can happen. Um, everybody thought I was going after Brendan and Rachel. There's a reason why I wasn't. Is there someone else in this house that have a stronger relationship? It's a romantic relationship. It's Kristen and Hayden. You need help to get this relationship out. When I was in the Taj room sleeping at night, these guys would get together. Kristen would get into the bed. They would do massages. They're kissing. They're doing more. The difference is that these people are out. These two are not out. You have to break up two alliances in this house. They said bad things about people. One, Brittany, these are not about me. Brittany, unfortunately, she doesn't like the way you talk. Reagan, she thinks she has you in your pocket, and she's going to control you if pushing the, your ego up. Lane, Hayden does love you. He's just taking you to fourth and fifth. Enzo, you know, I can't say it because you're my friend, but the things they said about your intelligence was wrong. 
I'm here. I want to take them out. That's the reason why you need me in the House. You've got to keep the votes. Now, yesterday, there's only one person after my speech didn't come to me, and it was Kristen. Why? Lane, you're a man. You came to me. I love you for that. She's a tin man. She doesn't care about anybody else. Unfortunately, herself, she will break anybody. Hayden, you've got to get out of it now. I apologize. You're a great man. You really have to do it. Watch out for Kristen, guys. Captain Kosher out. Thank you very much. Julie, Scry, Captain Kosher, thank you. Do you think I'm stupid enough to come here and try to have a showmance? I'm playing for half a million bucks. I understand. I got it. I've heard it. Andrew. Andrew. Captain Kosher. Andrew. You are evicted. Rachel, the correct answer is HOH. Congratulations. For the second time this season, you are the new head of household. Flurries, you better grab a life vest. Kristen. Why don't you grab a life vest because you're a floater and float on off because you're in dangerous waters, Kristen. I'm going to stay here and I'm going to get you guys. So. You're going to stay? Yeah. Really? Yeah, really? Watch. I'm going to make it my priority to get you out, Kristen. Okay. Rachel and Kristen are going at it. You know what? Give them some gloves. Give them some mud, some jello. Throw it all in there. Let's have some fun, man. Rachel's coming up to her and I'm talking. Oh, she's here. She's like, you Chris is like, If Hayden wants to get a little nookie on the side, that's fine by me. But if it interferes with the brigade, we have a problem. Everybody's been good. Keep the mouth shut. Of course. Yeah, that's fine. No, Chris. No, no, Chris. You already said it today. Right. 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 But when it interferes with the brigade, then you guys got to go. Yeah, she's doing great. But she's got to go. She's got to go. That's it. Are you going to talk to him or no? No. I should. I, mean, I, I don't want to be like everybody else in this house and kiss the HOH's ass. I think the best thing for me to do is take a stand. Didn't you come here to win? I've nominated you, Kristen, and you, Hayden, for eviction. Bring it on. Hayden better not mess up this good thing we got going for the brigade. Whatever Kristen is to him, his sister, girlfriend, boyfriend, I don't know. Just get rid of it, Hayden. Congratulations, Brittany. You have won the power of veto and are the wizard of pinball. I could be screwed this week. Not to use the power of veto. One of us is going home, guaranteed. This sucks, man. But I think it's really strange how he's not campaigning at all. Yeah. At all. Yeah. Matt, Lane, Enzo, and Hayden work out together all the time. And I'm thinking that something has already formed. Kristen. 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 You are evicted. What kind of game are we playing here? Back and forth. <laughs> See you next week in the room. Um, no. <laughs> I'll keep the sheets clean for you. <laughs> I did it again, baby. I got two endurance competitions under my belt. The guys got to get their act together. I mean, I'm pulling all the weight in this group. I can only win HOH every other week. The brigade is back in power, baby. Matt is a monster. He took it down for us here, got us a win. But you know what? He better not screw up the nominations this time, because if he does, we're kicking him out of the brigade. To do the first time. Brendan and Rachel told me bring it on last week, and now they're gonna be on the block. I cannot wait to taste sweet, sweet revenge all week long. They're gonna be crying like little babies, and I'm gonna sit back, relax, and laugh in their face. Now that's good. Maddie has a way of surprising the brigade, so hopefully he's not up to his big ideas. Just stick to the plan. Put up Brendan and Rachel. Uh, Rachel and Brendan, I've nominated you both for eviction. Oh, here we go. 
Before you is Pandora's box. Opening the Big Brother Pandora's box could release something good or something bad. <laughs> Behold the diamond power of veto. The most coveted veto in all of Big Brother. If you want to claim this power, you must now decide if you want to open Pandora's box. Let's do this. Congratulations, you now possess the diamond power of veto. This veto not only gives you the ability to save yourself or someone else from the block, it also gives you the power to name their replacement nominee. This veto can be used only once at one of the next two evictions. You must keep this power a secret or you risk losing it. Use your power wisely, for you will soon learn what you may have unleashed upon the house. Thank you. Brittany, sensational job. You knocked down all 10 pins, which means you are the holder of the power of veto. Congratulations. Not to use the power of veto. We're like a special ops. Like, we're in undercover. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone sees that there's no possible way to be a big alliance in here. We have two scientists. We can't figure out. They can't figure out the laws of fixes in here that there's a brigade and he doesn't understand the center of gravity in this house is the brigade. That's what happens when you have the votes, you know? The brigade is absolutely running this house right now. You know, you got Lane controlling Brittany, you got Maddie controlling Reagan. You add it all up, we decide who stays and who goes. Everyone's always like, it's these two, it's that two, but it's never us four. <laughs> <laughs> We're hanging out here, I don't even give a if anyone sees this anymore. <laughs> He's, he's helpless. But it's smart for us to keep him. It's way smarter. The poor guy, you know, he's got nothing. If we keep Brendan, he has a huge target on his back. Also, he's not as good of a competitor as Rachel, which means other people are going to win HOH, and they're going to try and take him out, which buys me and the brigade at least one more week in the house. I think if we keep Rachel in his house, she could do a lot of dirty work, man. You know what I mean? If we keep her. If we keep her. Do you trust Rachel 100%? That's what I'm saying, and I don't know. We're just kind of like more worried about Rachel because of the HOH, but. Rachel's the real strong competitor. She's great with the HOHs. If you leave Rachel in this house and you don't align with her, now you got a real, real dangerous strong competitor in this house on the loose. You know, if Rachel leaves, he's done. Like, he'll want to go home too. It's amazing how we wanted to get rid of him since week one, and now we have the chance, so now we're going to keep him. It's like this game is so crazy, you know? Oh my gosh, that is crazy. Ultimately, it comes down to who's gonna help the brigade more and who's gonna be the bigger threat if we leave him in the house. It's a tough call. What do you think smart to do to? I mean, who, who do we go after? Rachel. 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 You are evicted. That one was for you. Once again, the brigade doesn't pull through and win the HOH competition. Like I know this sounds stupid, but I almost trust Brendan. More than Maddie. More than Maddie. Like we haven't had a real dead up brigade meeting in a while. He's always with Reagan. Like you and can't do that. That's not brigade. We have to get ready to Brendan or Reagan this week. I think we get rid of we give it to Brittany this week. Then Lane comes back to us 100%. You know what I mean? Yeah. We need to tell Brittany. Yeah, hell yeah. You know what I mean? Now, we gotta go after them, chop up their alliance, bring the brigade back, and then bring Brendan in. We gotta think long and hard about this, because we have to do what's best for us. Yo, if we play our cards right, though, bro, we can do this. But we're gonna have to get dirty. I think I'm gonna end up putting up Lane and Brittany. Lane's probably gonna try to fly under the radar as long as he can, and then pop up in the end as a competitor. When Brendan dropped the bomb on me about putting up Lane, I was like, where did this come from? I'm more scared of Brittany than Lane. 
because Britney. Absolutely. Because towards the end, it's more quizzes, I think. I mean, she knows everybody. She knows, like, everything about everyone. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I thought it was supposed to be Reagan and Britney. I thought that was the plan. I, I kept trying to drop that seed. You know, I'm pretty sure, I hope, he's not, you know, trying to uh, take Lane out. I know Lane is, is, is good with Britney, but Matt and Reagan are definitely the tightest. But I, I, if you ask me, I don't, I don't like Britney or Reagan. I just think, uh, I don't know, man. I just don't trust them, but. No, I don't either. I don't either. I, I don't trust either one of them. I've nominated you, Reagan, and you, Lane, for eviction. The brigade took a hit. I don't know what this sneak's trying to do, but I'm furious right now. Reagan, you have won the power of veto. Thank you, Zingbot. This cannot be any worse. You know, now Reagan's going to take himself off the block, and then we have a 50-50 chance that another brigade member is going up right next to me. We can't have that. Welcome to Big Brother. The worst thing that could happen is Brennan puts up bed. But if Matt goes home, me and you are looking even better. I haven't told anybody how I really feel about Matt. He's competitive. He wins competitions. He's smart. Reagan and Brittany have his back. He has votes on that side of the house that we don't have. Basically, the other side of the house, they're all snakes. And Matt, unfortunately, he's the head of the snake. If puts up So of course, I'm going to use the power of veto on myself. Nominee is Matt. That's how it is. Ain't over yet. Thanks, Don't be shy. So Brendan puts me up on the block. But what he does not know is that I have the diamond power of veto. This power of veto not only allows me to take myself off the block, but it allows me to name the replacement nominee, not Brendan. So I'm staying in the house. Well, there it is. This wasn't supposed to happen. Two brigade members up on the block at the same time. Yeah, now me and Hayden might have to get Maddie out of him. He's getting real close with Reagan and Brittany, and I think I could trust Lane more than Maddie at this point. It might be time for Maddie to just hit the road, man. Would you guys tell me on Thursday if you're like gonna team up and go against me or against Lane either way? We, I think we owe it to you everybody. Do that? No matter what, what happens. We started this together. All right, cool. That's the last thing I'm doing is going against Lane. Having the diamond power of veto provides me with kind of a unique opportunity to kind of scope out the brigade a little bit. So if I get a sense that the remaining two brigade members are voting for Lane instead of me, then I might just find a new alliance. I'll be completely honest up front, and this sucks, but it's not good news. Not good news, huh? We're not voting against Lane. At the end of the day, if it's me sitting against you in the end, you're gonna beat me. So I feel like it's selfish, like I'm gonna, but you know, I, mean, I feel like if I'm, I'm here, I need to play to win. It sucks, bro. It sucks, bro. The diamond power of veto actually gave me a great insight into people's minds in the house, and it turns out that I'm not as important to the brigade as I may have thought I was. Uh, Hayden was real straight up with me, but Enzo was beating around the bush lot, and it's like, come on, guys, you know, I'm the one that got you to where you are. It's it easy. You guys, man, I'm out in the brigade now. <laughs> <laughs> do what you want to do, bro. No, man, it's a game. <laughs> it's all right, dude. Don't worry. Here I sit on the block like a chump, ready to go home. I'm sure you're beaming with delight, as you well should be. And for that, Brendan, I say congratulations. Um, congratulations on coming so close to achieving your goal.
But uh, better luck next time, you big dummy, because I'm going to use the Diamond Power Veto tonight to save myself from the block. It's not really a well-put-together Diamond Power Veto. Let's just pretend I put this around my neck, and uh, that's what I'm doing. All right, everyone, I can officially confirm when Matt opened Pandora's box two weeks ago, he received the Diamond Power of Veto. This special veto gave Matt the opportunity to save one nominee either last week or tonight. And unlike the regular veto, it also gives him the power to name the replacement nominee. What? <laughs> yes, Brittany, it's true. Brendan, as HOH, and Reagan, as the veto holder, both of you are safe. All right, Matt, since you have chosen to use the Diamond Power veto on yourself, it is now your responsibility to name a replacement nominee. Please make your decision now. Well, this is obviously the worst part of doing this because the only one that I want up here I can't put up. Um, so at this point in the game, I just need to get the house as competitive as possible to hold the, v the, hold the uh, HOH nominations in the veto, you know, as best as we can. And... Uh, we need There's your decision. Some cleanup that needs to be done next week. Kat, I'm so sorry. Uh, nothing personal. Got a job to do. All right. Thank you for trading places. Let's continue. Kathy. Kat. Kathy, the sheriff. You are evicted. <laughs> the correct answer is true. Congratulations, Brittany. You're the new HOH. Brendan, hand over that HOH key. Congratulations. Brittany. Congratulations. Give me a run for my money, Enzo. Oh, yeah. Brittany's definitely very close to Matt, Reagan, and Lane. And now it could definitely be trouble for me in the house. Am I going to win something? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know none of those questions. I don't know. These people studying like left and right. I don't know nothing. Who should I put up? I'm definitely getting a little nervous because we all know Brendan is a target this week. He's going to go on a block, but there's someone that's got to go up next to him. So, and that someone is probably going to be Hayden or me. Hey, hey, come on. There's no one here, y'all. If I would have won that, y'all. If I would have won that, we'll see. Let him put me up. You know what? Let him put me up. We'll see what happens. I'm sorry, man. Did you not feel bad when we were I all felt like... so bad, man. Oh, I felt so bad. But you guys are kicking me out of the brigade, man. No, I wasn't kicking, kicking me out of the brigade. Is that... I, no, I was, I, was, I was this close to saying, Matt deserves to be here. Like, dude, how is he not emotional? I didn't even do that stuff. I was like, you bastard. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I had to do it. I had to do it. In tears, like we were all crying. <laughs> when, when you pull that out, I was like, <sighs> <sighs> Lane and Aiden are acting very excited that I'm back. I'll have you see me, hugs and kisses and everything else, you know. Less than an hour ago, the brigade was gonna send me home, and now they're glad that I'm staying. That's very suspicious behavior. between me and you. Tell me, what would you have done today? When the way we were. It was up today, bro. You know what? This up today, man. I told Maddie that I was gonna vote him out. So uh, I gotta do a little bit of damage control here. I gotta reel him back in. You know? Don't even spit over, man. Don't, don't worry about it. you. Why? I'm thinking about it. I think about it every day. Don't worry about it. Quick question. Me and Rico. You, day one, day one. Are you sure, bro? Yeah. But we don't hang out as we used to, bro. You always with the guy, you know what I mean? I don't even know what to think no more, bro. I don't even know what's going on in this Dude, I've been 100%. I've been more than anybody else with it, man. Everything I've done has been to get us here. Even though I'm just trying to butter me up and tell me how he really wanted me here, I'm about done with this, man. The game's winding down. There's not enough people left in this house to deal with this. Uh, I need to reassess my situation, and he has got to watch his back. Me to you. Look in your eyes. We can't get the 
that's it. That is my number one priority right now. Is getting the brigade final. What I would do is what I think is most fair. Right. Because some people have experienced things and some right. people have not experienced things, and that's how I'd petition it. Brittany seems to be taking my advice on nominations. Enzo's the guy that I want up in the block next to Brendan as a pawn right now, but if he does go home, no big deal in my mind. I feel like Maddie made a big mistake last week trying to figure out what me and Hayden were going to do, if we were going to whack him or not. I think he's throwing up people under the bus up there. He shouldn't be doing it. I got to expose Maddie to the brigade. You know, I got to get Lane and Hayden on board so we could put him on the block instead of me. It's going to be me and Brendan up there now. And then if Brendan wins POV, I don't know well, who's he going to put you up. But then that's it. Yeah. Our plan was to get down to the final four or five. Then we do what we're supposed to do. Nah, he's not looking after the brigade. He's looking after himself yeah. right now. What's being thought right now? Who does this house want out? That's what I need to know. Like, that's what this comes down to. We still want the same thing, Brendan out, but it's the fact of people do see, you know, Matt doing fishy stuff. That's what it that's, that's what it, That's what it is right now. And uh, I'm starting to, I got a good sense of character sometimes, and I'm just like, I don't know, man. It's getting a little fishy. Somebody's got to be a pawn. We want it to be Matt because guess what? Matt has to go home eventually. Well, sometimes the pawn goes home. That would be great. You don't want to go this pawn no, at all in any way. Like, I think that you're the best bet to compete with Brendan tomorrow, mm. like, mentally and physically. Don't put me on the pawn. Matt, you're safe. Thank you, Brad. I have nominated you, Brendan, and you, Enzo, for eviction. I'm gonna get this veto, and then I'm gonna work my magic uh, to get Maddie up on a block. It's my game. You haven't heard the last of me. If Enzo or Brendan come off the block, it's time to make a power move. We have to get Matt up there and try and backdoor him, because if Matt doesn't go home, He's gonna run away with this whole game. Oh, Brittany will listen to you a little bit, man. I don't know. Maybe try and talk to him about it. Yeah. I mean, somebody's gotta make a power move. It can't be mad. Hey, we need to go over some stuff. Okay, what? Okay, this is going to be important. What I'm gonna tell you. Okay. And you can't go tell anyone. I'm not gonna tell anybody. Okay, if you do, it just jeopardizes you. Okay, Lane, I'm not gonna tell anybody. Right now, you need to make a huge, huge, huge move. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. Back door, Matt. Matt has Reagan. That's partners. Right. And he thinks he has you. Okay, say we get rid of Matt. Back door him. But if. If I backdoor Matt... Who do you think Matt's putting up if he wins? Two of y'all. He's getting couples out. It's going to be either Hayden or Enzo or me or you. Since Brendan's already the outcast in this house, you can get rid of him anytime. On the other hand, Matt, he's playing the house. He's sitting pretty now. So Matt, you know, you're playing this house. You were a brigade, but sorry, man, you got to go. 
the game has started now. And Matt is a big move. Matt's a bigger threat than Brendan. We can get Brendan out. Yeah, he was, he was, but it doesn't do me any good to send Matt home because I feel safer with Matt than I do with Brendan. Brendan! I must have lost by two points. Congratulations, Brendan. You have earned the power of veto. Thank you. Brendan's by himself. Reagan ran upstairs. I'm sure Matt followed her. Yeah, of course. What do you think he's out there doing right now? Man, there's no doubt about it. I'm gonna penguin outfit, y'all. Uh, come on, bro. Uh, I got no clothes, nothing. This guy's playing the whole house. I'm gonna snap. Oh, man. Maddie definitely won at least two of them. Because Brittany didn't win nothing. I didn't win 5,000. I didn't win the Hawaiian. I won the phone call. Also, Maddie made yeah. out. Maddie won everything. Sneak that he is. He won it. Man, he is a good competitor in Vito's and he can win his permit. So to get him out, it's the best way to back door you had to. Thinks you got the house come out now. No, he's done, bro. He's done. And, I, and I, I want him up against me. I want him up against me in a penguin outfit. You want me to go up there and see what Brittany's talking about? Yeah, why? Well, I'm up there. Is that what you do? He definitely wants. Yeah. And he's sitting there lying about it. Do I care if I talk to Elaine real fast? Yeah, not at all. No. Are you upset? Yeah, I'm freaking pissed. What are you pissed about? But y'all have your plan of mad, and that's better for y'all, so you throw the competition and take prizes. Are you ready for my speech? Yes. You're not, we didn't do anything to jeopardize you at all. I, I will tell you honestly what prize I won, and I buzzed in on everything. I won the phone call, that's it. I did not win the Hawaiian trip. So Hayden got $5,000? Hayden told me last, uh, just downstairs, and he didn't win it. Who is left? Matt's won all those. Matt thinks he's safe, he's not going up on the block. You're not jeopardized anyway. You're safe next week. Brendan is gonna come after you. Brendan's not coming after you. You're not his target. I am gone. No. No. Uh -uh. Don't get me wrong, I adore Brittany. She's a great girl. But I will manipulate Brittany to uh, get what I want. My loyalty is straight with the brigade. You're not going anywhere. Okay. So calm down. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, so at this point, it's either going to be Hayden or myself on the block, and I really, truly do hate to do this to Reagan, but it's the only option to save the brigade. I'm going to need to try and subtly petition to get Reagan on the block and make sure the other brigade members really push for him to be on the block. Stabbing my best friend in the back to what I need to do this is my only shot to win a half million dollars. Big day today, man. Got to get this plan working. Start phase one. Lane's got some big work to do. And the rest of us can pop in. I'll try and just keep Reagan out of the room today and hang out with him. That's what you do, man. I just dropped Reagan's name and said. Yep. Matt thinks he's still part of the brigade. Sorry, Matt, you're not. You're telling us to go upstairs and push for Reagan. Well, guess what? The brigade is gonna go upstairs and push for you, Matt. Matt, we're gonna backdoor you this week. Matt's been on my ass all day. Why? You know, obviously he knows that me and you're friends, so he tries to get me to come up here every two seconds for me to tell you to put Reagan up. Are you kidding? Uh, he wants Reagan up badly. Why? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. That's what I'm talking to you. See what's better for you if it's Matt or Reagan goes home. I just want to make sure you think it's Matt. I'm trusting you, Lane. It's not good. I'm kidding. I'm joking. It's a joke. Damn, woman. If you are 
really in an alliance with somebody else and you're just playing me for a fool and I see that, I'm going to kill you. Okay, do you think I have the brain power to do that? No. I can barely talk to you in a lift. How'd it go? Reagan. Matt, what's your about Reagan? Basically. The thing with Reagan is, you know, everybody does really like Reagan. Like, I really, really like Reagan. Matt will be, I think, harder to get rid of. Yeah, I think so. But I still think Matt's a huge competitor. So, if you were to HOH next week, who's he going to put up? I think there's a good chance he puts up you. Oh, Hayden, this is not an easy job, is it? So, what, uh, so what's uh, Matt doing now? Throwing Reagan under the bus? Hardcore. I mean... Come on, man. Hardcore. I mean, it's crazy. Seriously? I mean, come on, bro. There's no loyalty, man. None. And you're a snake to everybody. Look, you're just throwing your best friend under the bus. Seriously? I mean, come on, bro. Like I told you, you keep me safe. You swore on your family, and I trust you. I swear on my family. That's it. You ain't going nowhere. We make it to the final four. Let the best That's person it. win. That's it. I'm safe. You're safe. We're all safe. That's it. We move on. Hey everyone, it's time for the veto meeting. I have decided to use the power of veto on myself. The house guest that I choose to nominate is... Matt. So the brigade scrambled, we made a last ditch effort to try and save me, get Reagan on the block. It did not work. I'm up against Enzo. The odds are stacked heavily against me. It's time for an underdog story, and we will see what happens. Brittany goes with the plan. What me, Hayden, and Lane wanted. Matt, you're about to hand in your brigade card, and you're out of here. That's it. Move on. I'm pretty sure Maddie's on his way home because the brigade is getting rid of everybody we don't trust. After Maddie, we're going after Brendan, Brittany, and Reagan. The chopper. Get him out of here. Sucks, dude. You ain't been yourself today, man. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm a little upset right now. Why? Because I think the boys are working together which I think at one time you were a part of. Lane, Hayden, Enzo, you. I never garnished that there was like an alliance. There's more going on than just a friendship. I, I find that very difficult to believe. So Reagan starts telling me how he has some suspicions about the members of the brigade working together. In my head, I'm like, oh my God, this is horrible. Today has just been a very eye-opening experience. But then I'm like, well, wait a minute. This ain't so bad after all. This is a golden opportunity for me. If Hayden and Lane know that Reagan is on to the Brigade Alliance, they'll just keep me in the house so that I can keep them out of Reagan's crosshairs. Are we still kind of <laughs> The pecking order needs to change a little bit to keep the BG strong. Yeah. He knows a lot, man. He's very suspicious about all four of us. He's a scary competitor, you know? And when he's after the brigade, that makes it scarier. Oh, crap. If this gets out, then we got a big X on our back. We got to get Reagan out of this house. Oh, Reagan's got to go. If you stay, who does Reagan put up with with HOH? If I stay in the house, I'd have his ear. I'd make sure it's Brennan and Brett. If I don't stay, he told me he'd target you and Lena. The brigade controls everyone in this house, except for Reagan. So we may actually need Matt to keep Reagan under control. On the flip side, how do we know it wasn't Matt that told Reagan about the brigade in the first place? The question is, do we trust Matt? Well, I hope everyone is well rested because you are about to experience a week's worth of Big Brother in a single night. 
Within the hour, two of you will be leaving the House and joining the jury. And there's no time to waste, so let's get things started. Matt. Matt. By a vote of four to zero, Matt, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Kill him, man. Kill him. Which two house guests have held the title of head of household twice? On your mark, get set, go. Ugh. Brendan making his way down his lane with one card. Hayden making his way down the lane with a card. Hayden making his way down. Congratulations, Hayden. The correct answer is Rachel and Matt. You are the new head of household. I nominate Brendan and Reagan. How dare you? Brendan, Reagan, one of you may be the next house guest to be evicted. You will have one last chance to save yourself. I'll be back for the live veto competition in just a few minutes. The correct answer is before. Congratulations, Reagan. You have won the power of veto. <laughs> On myself. <laughs> I choose Brittany. All right. Thank you, Hayden. Brendan. Brendan. You are evicted. Brendan was the pawn, and Brendan thought that I was in his corner. Sorry, dude. Sometimes the pawn goes home. We all know that. Sucks to be you. Welcome to Big Brother. Are we going to win? Yeah. We have a good shot. We just, this is our game. We just go to his tool. Why are you stressed out? Look, look over our head. Oh, let's see how he's fine. Look over our head. We want Reagan out of here. If I win HOH, I have to choose between Brittany or a brigade member to be the pawn, so hopefully Enzo can win and make that decision for me. So Enzo, pull it out, win this one. Enzo, you didn't get any cards. Reagan, that means you're definitely moving on to the next round. Man, I can't win anything, man. Are you kidding me, Enzo? I was gonna throw this competition for you. Lane, you got the ace of hearts, which means Enzo, who didn't get any cards, is eliminated. <laughs> what do you know, dude? Enzo bombs another competition. I have to say one thing for the guy. He has been the most consistent competitor all season long. I love Enzo, but he's terrible. It's my story in here, man. Reagan, you got one card out of five shots. That's just not gonna do it. Congratulations, Lane. You are the new head of household. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Nice, nice. Good work, man. Boom! I'm gonna make it to the final four. It's great that I'm safe, but now I'm stuck with a difficult decision. I'm guaranteed to upset somebody because either Brittany or a brigade member have to go up on the block. And I don't know what the hell to do. What's he gonna do with the nominations? If he doesn't put up Brittany and Reagan wins POV, like, what? You know what I mean? Because I feel like he's like this with her now. Oh, he is. He is, yo. Me and Hayden got to wake up Lane, bring him back to the brigade, and put Brittany on the block. Or else it's going to be me on the block. So, and I'm not having that. We're going to pull him back. 
And we have to play my way. Bro. Yeah, if he takes me in the final, she'll beat him. She's one point. I told him, I said, bro, it's, I'm not even talking for me. I'm talking to you, lady. If you want to go to the final two, you can't bring her now. You're not going to make the final two without her, bro. No, she'll, beat she'll take you to the final two, but that's it. You know what I mean? These guys know that. So pissed. <laughs> then put up Hayden. You don't want to put up Enzo because he just got off the block. That's understandable. But the only fairness in that is that Hayden goes. I'm not putting up Hayden. So what you're saying is you like Hayden better than me because you won't even consider putting up Hayden, but you'll consider putting up me. Well, it's like a feedback. Like he didn't put me up. I see where your loyalties lie. Nominations are coming up. I still don't know what to do. No one wants to be the pawn. This sucks. I wish I was playing golf. Brittany, you're safe. Thanks, Maureen. Hayden. nominated you, Reagan, and you, Enzo. It's like such a baby move. Lane's a Make the power move already. What are you so scared about Brittany? Like, put her on the block. Who cares? Hopefully Enzo's not that mad at me for putting him up as a pawn. But Enzo, you haven't won anything. At least Brittany's won competitions. What are you doing? Maybe Brittany should stay and you should go. All I am, won't have the Broadway clam. I was high on my luck, happy in the muck, but now I'm all washed up. I had my favorite music, it brought me joy and glee, but now it's lost at sea. Won't you please help me? I go test. What song have you brought Otev the Broadway Clam? The song I brought you, Otev, was Monat. The song I brought you, Otev, is Mochel. Mochel. Lane, did Rachel have the diamond power veto? What are you thinking? I love Lane, but they say everything's big in Texas, except Lane's brain. It's Monat. It's Monat. The correct song is Monat. Sorry, Lane, that is the wrong song. Reagan, what song have you brought me? The song I brought you is Monat. Reagan, because you brought me the right song, you remain in the game. Sorry, Lane, <laughs> you have been eliminated. Sorry, Hayden, you have been eliminated. Sorry, Brittany, you have been eliminated. And now it's time for the final round. This is it. Who wants this thing more? I'm ready to fight for this thing, man. He better be scared because I'm taking this. Ow! Oh, God! You've got to be kidding me. God, for me! What song have you brought Otev the Broadway Clam? Uh, Otev, I brought you Brendrew. Dude, Reagan hurls his CD and both the Clam and Enzo take it right in the face. What a sore loser. The correct song is Brendrew. Sorry, Reagan, you have been eliminated. Congratulations, Enzo. You have won the power of veto. Wait a stay. Look at this, baby. Papa got the bling bling. Reagan could cry. It's a bitter pill to swallow, but swallow it. Right here. It's my time now. Now the meow meow starts to play. Don't poop put yourself up, yeah. I want me to pop me. You don't want Reagan to start twisting heads. Yeah, that we can do our ass. 
if Rain puts up Britney, that means me and Hayden control the votes. We could separate Britney from Lane. This might be the opportunity to backdoor Britney right out of this game. That is insane, man. Okay, so what about tomorrow? Are you okay of going out? Well, not necessarily. Because I'll definitely put Britney in, that's no problem. But I don't know what Enzo is going to do. Because he wants Britney out big time. But I just don't want to do that. I don't know if I can trust Hayden and Enzo if I put Britney on the block. Because we got rid of Matt because he was close with Reagan. So they might just get rid of Britney and then I'm in big time trouble then. I think it's just safer that definitely Reagan will be going home if you're up. Enzo isn't the only one that thinks backdooring Britney might be a good idea. I do too. If Lane puts up Britney, we might just have to make a power move and get her out of the house. I have decided to use the veto on me, myself, and I. The person I nominate is... The brigade has no clue. I want to go to the final two with Brittany. I'm here for half a million, not 50,000, and my best chance of that is Brittany next to me. Reagan. Reagan, you've been evicted. Hayden has a star. Hayden gets all 18 ornaments and a star, which means he is the new HOH. Yeah, we've won four competitions in a row. Yeah. Brigade final. We created a monster. And I'm just happy to be a part of the brigade. I'm happy to even come up with the name. Boom, boom, brigade. And when Hayden wins, that's like me winning. We're brigade. I started this thing from the beginning. I'm the mastermind of the whole brigade. I'm ready to go to the final three. It's just Brittany in my way, and that's it. The brigade was a power move mm -hmm. from the beginning. We controlled the votes from day How one. How is it now? Three out of four people in the final four. Now we can do what we have to do. I would rather have Brittany one HOH than Hayden because I have a better shot beating Brittany in the final two than I do Hayden. Look at this board, man. We're probably the best alliance ever to be made. Shh. Shh. Gray that, yo. That's what it has to be, yo. Best thing to happen to you win at this age age. Oh, it's huge. Guarantees we're going to the final three. Or guaranteed final well, three. Guaranteed. I've won three HOHs now. Clearly, I'm one of the best competitors in the house, if not the best competitor. Nobody's going to want to take me to the final two because they think I'm going to beat them. I need to do anything I can to try and change that. I know I hang out with Enzo a lot, but you know how I feel. Like, I, I, I've been you know, straight up with you since day one. I'm taking you. I hope it's the same with you. Yeah. I gotta say, different around Enzo. Dude, if you and I make final two, no matter who wins the money, we can do something big with it. Big time. I'm telling Hayden whatever he needs to hear right now to make sure he's gonna take me to the final two. I never got an HOH at all. Will you win another competition, please? And then you can take me to the final two. Yeah. I know I'm safe this week, so I'm looking towards the end. I'm making deals with everybody this week just to make sure that my butt is safe going into the next round. Neither one of you clowns are going to take me to the final two now. If I win this last POV and I win the last HOH, I could take you. You could take me? Yeah. Or you just win this POV. That's it, man. I'll let you win it. If you won three and I won three, I think you'll beat me. It's me and you. I got three competitions. I'll take you. I don't care. We gotta get Brittany out, bro. 
Brittany makes the end, she wins the game. She'll win it, yo. I'm telling we're gonna look at Brittany wins this thing. Right now, Lane is pretty much a guaranteed fifty thousand dollars. He's already in the final three, Lane. Yeah. Lane's already in the final three. Because he didn't put Brittany up. He knew not to put Brittany up. That was the smartest move he made. That Lane's smarter than we give credit for, man. I'm telling you. Lane is in the best position. Now what about this? What if we win and we get rid of Lane? <laughs> <laughs> you and Brittany in the final three. Then we don't know who she's taking. Then, we don't know who she's taking. We know for a fact it's two against one. Like, you win, you take me. I win, I take you. Uh, Guaranteed. <laughs> and then we both play our ass off again. to feel like Maddie now, yo. When we flipped on Maddie. <laughs> Remember, Maddie got in too deep. We had to get rid of him. Go. He may be telling us one thing, and he's gonna do another. That would be a power move right there. If we took Brittany to the final three. We got we got to beat him. We got to get her out. But if we took her to the final three, that first one's an endurance, which we'll beat her. That second one is a skill, could beat her, which we could beat her. And then it'd be me against you in a quiz. A big brother. You can't wait. You can't risk it. You either make the move or you, you leave it for someone to make a move on you. Inza. Thank you, man. You're safe. Mm -hmm. I've nominated you, Lane, and you, Brittany, for eviction. Big POV tomorrow, man. Big POV. I feel like a uh, Spartan going to war tomorrow. Oh. I really went out. Wow. Good job, Hayden. Holy crap, how'd you do that? I just killed that out there. I control the nominations, I control the veto meeting. Who goes with me to the final three? Who do I want to play against for half a million dollars? Now that Hayden's won, I kind of have to put it in reverse and go back to the brigade. You know, I have to like shun Brittany away and I have to go, yeah, yes, final three. This is what I wanted all the time, final three. I have to make them believe that I didn't want Brittany in the final three. What are we gonna tell Brittany about the game? I'll tell her right now. She knows my vote. Who think you said, girl, that's my vote? That's my vote. <laughs> it's not, it's not I'm up there and I need a vote. <laughs> I don't want to screw your vote, but for when I tell Brittany that I'm not going to use the power of veto, I'm going to say it's because we started Brigade Day 2, Final 3 is what I want, this is what it's going to be. And is that, I mean, is that right with you? It might be time for the Brigade to come out now. We had a great run, and nobody's known about us up until this point. But Brittany, she has a right to know why she's going home this week, because I'm not going to use the veto on her. Lane, it's your call when we tell Brittany. You want to tell her tonight or tell her tomorrow? It's not in my best interest to tell Brittany about the brigade because I've been friends with Brittany since day one. She's gonna be really pissed off, but I can't express that to the brigade because then they'll be thinking, why, why are you trying to protect her so much? And then they'll be trying to get rid of me. You do want to be included, right? Oh, duh. So this is history. You can tell her tonight. Might as well yeah, tell but her she tonight. She's not gonna cry. She's not gonna cry. Oh, yeah, she is. Yeah, she she'll cry. She can sleep on it if you tell her now. She'll go to bed. Lane, what are you gonna do? Oh, 
What are you gonna do? I don't know. I don't know. What are you gonna do tonight? <laughs> Drink some beer. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's been a lot of group effort, like, in this game. Yeah. A lot of group effort. I think so. Do you think there was an alliance in this house? Yeah, Brendan and Rachel, Matt and Reagan. I'm curious to see where this cat was at. Who, me? Who were you with? I was in an alliance. I was definitely in an alliance. With a couple of people. <laughs> with Maddie. And definitely with Maddie. I was definitely in alliance with Maddie. But then you turned on him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was two other people too. With you and Maddie? <laughs> Who was it? Who was it, Lane? <laughs> Who was the alliance? <laughs> was it Lane? Huh? <laughs> It was it was uh, Lane and Hayden. And you and Maddie? And me and Maddie. Four person alliance. From day two. From day two. We named it and we gave nicknames to everybody. What was its name? Brigade. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you hear the beast, the animal, the meow meow. And the brains. Maddie was the brains. It was a masterpiece. You control the votes from the beginning. She thinks we're... No, I don't. No? Everyone broke off into side alliances just in case if that person got put on the block. So then we have the votes. Personally, for me, I think it's greatness. I told about the brigade. <laughs> what? Uh -huh. uh. Yeah, we told Brittany. She knows, Joe. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, she knows told about me everything. everything. Terry told you? Mm -hmm. Without me? Mm hmm I'm sorry, Britt. I'm glad you won the 10 G's yesterday. <laughs> Are you pissed? A little bit? Yeah. I would be. So yeah, so I'm definitely going home, is that what you're saying? Well, I'm not gonna use the veto. Day two, we're gonna make the best alliance ever. All right, Lane, you know how I feel about the BG. It was legit from day one. I've been more loyal than the German chef, but you know that, you know that. That's it. Hey, Brittany, I have to ev evict you. It's official, Brittany. You've been evicted. <laughs> Brigade! We did it. Hello, Brigade. Hey. hey! Welcome to part one of the final three-part head of household competition. Oh. Ah. Deal with it, block it out, stay on the rope. Yeah, big dog. Good job, man. That's, that's awesome. You guys are warriors, man. Woo! I just won this thing. I'm that much closer to $500,000. How did you guys pull it off and make it this far? I have no idea. I don't even know why I'm even here. <laughs> but uh, I guess it might be my personality. I don't know. But I'm lucky to be here and I'm happy. It's time to begin part two of the final three-part head of household competition. Enzo, your time was one minute, 
43 seconds. Lane, your time was one minute, 13 seconds. Congratulations, Lane. You are the winner of round two. Congratulations. Let's get one last handshake. Best man win. Game on. That's it. Bro, game. Bro, game. And me being a dodo, uh, not winning anything, could turn out to be a good strategy. Now I'm gonna try to convince both of them that the jury doesn't like me, and I've only won one thing. So there's no way that I could win uh, this whole thing. Maybe I'll tell them that they bring me to the final two. You never know what could happen. I've waited all season to go head to head in the final competition. This is it, mano a mano, the beast against the animal. No more dodo, no more dumb lane play. The beast is here. Watch out Hayden and Enzo. I'm here to take the half mil. All the chips are down. The entire game's riding on this one competition. Me versus Lane. If I can beat him, I got a good shot to win 500 Gs. If he beats me, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm excited, but I'm nervous. I make the brigade, and these are gonna win no. I put all the work into this thing. I made the brigade. There's no way I'm gonna lay down and die. I'm gonna, I'm brainwashing somebody like it's like I'm the leader of a satanic cult. Somebody's taking me to the final two, and then I'm brainwashing the jury, and I'm winning this thing. It's crazy, man. It sucks the position I'm in. I can't do anything. Yeah, it's a tough spot. It sucks. You still got a chance, dude. I wouldn't, so I wouldn't, you know, don't pack it in. There's no way I can win anything because I got one POV. You know, if I do go to the final two, it's only $50,000. Dude, I don't think so, though. I think if you go to the final two, you got a shot to win it. Yeah, one POV? Yeah. Best social game ever in the history of Big Brother. They could say that, you know, I played a great social game here. But then it's like, all right, how do you qualify to win BB12? What else? Like, uh, I don't know. Uh, I got last place, the captain, the ropes. 19 minutes on these ropes, and they're going to chew me up. Enzo's well-liked by the jurors, and that could take him far in this game. But facts are facts. He's only won one competition. So I might have a better chance to beat Enzo in the final two. <sighs> I would think like the last week would be the funnest week. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I'm like, in a depressed state, man. But yesterday was like, whoever won that still had a shot, 500 Gs. Oh, mm -hmm. I think I'm still competing for 50, no matter what. If you win this last one, man, I'm telling you, you're not. Like, I don't beat either you or Hayden. No. I think uh, me or you were to take it, we lose automatically. There's no way. I'm depressed, man. The trick to getting Lane and bringing me to the final two is convincing him that he cannot beat Hayden. I mean, it don't matter who Hayden takes. He takes me, yeah, I'd say he wins. Doesn't matter. He's won so many competitions, mm -hmm. so there's no way. I want to take Hayden to the final two because that's where my heart's at, but my head's telling me otherwise. You know, my head's telling me take Enzo. You know, Enzo's a better guy to bring to the final two because I think I could beat him. So that's the dilemma I'm in right now. I'm up, you know, I'm up. I'm telling you that up, man. I even tell Hayden the same. You're gonna try and win it, right? No doubt. Came this far. You got a shot. Big difference between 50 Gs and 500, man. I did my best. I worked my magic. I talked to both Lane and Hayden. You know, I tried to push it. I tried to, you know, drop a seed. And uh, we're gonna see what happens. That's it. Last week, the brigade stunned Brittany when they revealed their secret. But when she joined the jury house, she dropped a grenade of her own. My suspicions were confirmed. Frog, frog, what does that say? Brigade alternate, the blonde. Number five. What you guys didn't know about was a legitimate secret alliance in the house called the Brigade that was formed between Matt, Enzo, Hayden, and Lane.
I just don't see how they had this big strategic plan that none of us saw if they were so strategic. Why did I win two HOHs? You don't have to be good in competitions if you have the vote. Four people does not control the votes. It's, it's not, not four, four votes. votes, it's seven It's seven, votes. they bring people on board with them. The brilliant thing about the brigade is you have four core members, three of them go out and get the side alliance, and right. the side alliance is loyal to the member who has brought them in. You are in a house with 13 people and you control seven votes. You run the entire house. For the first time in Big Brother history, an undercover alliance makes it to the final three intact. I would love to hear anybody who has a reason Enzo should win a half million. He had that social game. I mean, I had no social game. And to see someone like that float through the entire game while it drives me absolutely insane as a competitor, I mean, I give it to him. If you can put yourself in a position where you never have to stress out, you don't have to worry the entire game, you never have to fight, more props to Enzo. Competitively, uh, Hayden, it's a no-brainer. He blew the other two guys away, and he played the game. He charmed us with his flowing locks and golden tan and all-American <laughs> good looks, and we believed him when he said he cared. He made me feel completely comfortable and confident that, you know, Brigade, all this and that, when he was turning on me. That's a social game. That, okay, that is that making me feel one way but doing something else. And truthfully, as a fan of the game and as a player, I respect it. He's been busy at work this whole game. I mean... I you know, I think he's brilliant. I think strategically, Lane played the best game. I don't think that there's a single one of us in this jury that can say that they are like legitimately pissed at any move in this game that Lane has made. He has set himself up with this social game, strategically in this house, to make it to the final three. He was never the target of anything. Lane didn't always have to win challenges. He was comfortable. That's strategic play. Manipulating me and my decisions, that is strategic play. You both got it wrong. The score is tied, which means we're going to a tiebreaker question. Please reset and grab your chalkboards. In part one of the final HOH competition, Rumble in the Big Brother Jungle, how many times did Big Brother slam you into the walls during the competition? Answers, please. The correct answer is 250, which means congratulations, Hayden. You are the final. You know, we did the BG, the greatest alliance ever. It was awesome, the whole, the, this whole ride, bro. So whatever you gotta do, you gotta do. That's it, all right? Thank you. Come on, will be short. Man, you're a great competitor. You know, you deserve this. You know, no hard feelings on anything you do. Uh, I love both you guys. You guys are been nothing but awesome. I've been completely loyal to both of you this entire game. Um, no matter what's done here, I think we're going to be friends for a long, long time. Uh, with that being said, Enzo, I'm sorry, man. I have to evict you. I think you're guaranteed 25 out there. We'll I love Don't you. Don't worry about it. Worry about it. It's, it's official, it. Enzo. You are the last person to be evicted from the Big Brother house. Good stuff, though, man. You guys sorry, are awesome, bro. man. BG, baby. That's it. Enzo, if you're out there, man, you know, it sucks. I don't know what Hayden was thinking. If I would have won, you knew I would have brought you to the final oh. two. I'm going to miss you, man. You're a great friend of mine. You know, I'm going to see you soon. We're going to have still a lot of laughs outside this house. You're the best social player ever in Big Brother history. Everybody loves you. And you're a huge threat to win the game if you're sitting in the final two. I need to do what's best, you know, for me to have a chance of winning half a million. That's the Sorry, shag. Dude. Look at the shag. Hey, Lane. Hey. <laughs> Had the situation occurred, would you have chosen Brittany or a brigade member to bring to the final two, and why? Oh, nice one. Nice one, Matt. All right, man. Uh, it would probably depend on how uh, I would turn out, you know? So uh, whatever is going to you know, benefit me at that point, uh, I would uh, make my decision on uh, that. You didn't really answer the question, Lane. Yeah, I kind of went around. We want a name. Uh, it would be a brigade member. Duh, I'm 100% loyal to a brigade. Hayden, do you think you played a better social game than the man seated next to you, and why? Um, I would say our social game's almost similar. We played almost the exact same social game. We both had our secret alliance. We both had our side alliances. 
Uh, neither one of us were ever a target. I don't, I don't know if you can say I played a better one, but I definitely didn't play any worse. Uh, so about equivalent in terms of the, the social game. What separated me is the competitions. <laughs> Hayden, you're first. Oh, first of all, I want to say I feel blessed to be here. It's been amazing. Uh, you guys, the jury, your job here is to decide the winner of Big Brother. The winner should be the person who played the game the best. Lane is a great guy. We both played a great social game. We had an amazing alliance. But the bottom line is, when it comes down to competitions, I won five. Five competitions, Lane won one. Four of those competitions were HOH competitions, and in fact, I won three in a row. The last three HOH competitions, competitions, in a row, I won. And I don't know if any... Rachel, I remember you saying earlier this season, nobody's ever won three HOH competitions in a row. Does that still hold true? No, I've done it. I've won three in a row. Um, I also won a veto when it mattered the most. I won the veto that carried the brigade into the final three, and uh, I, feel like, I feel like I deserve to win this game. I really do. I, I played a good social game, and I was uh, competitive when it mattered. The bottom line is, if you're voting on who the best player is, it's me, and I, I, really, I really do believe that. Uh, I think that's about it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Hayden. Lane, your turn. Well, uh, I want to tell you, uh, thank you for an amazing summer. You know, I had a blast. Uh, you know, uh, and congratulations to making it to the jury. You know, I didn't think in a million years I'd be standing here right now, but I am, and I don't think it's on accident. Uh, from uh, the first day I walked in this door, you know, I've seen how many competitors we had in this house. And, uh, you know, each one of y'all you know, has awesome, awesome aspects. You know, the first, you're, you're unique, you know, you're crazy funny, and uh, you're competitors. You want to win every competition, and that's the same way I am. You know, even though I didn't win every competition, you know, I played this game to every aspect. You know, I played it to socially, you know, competitively, you know, friends, you know, staying in the background sometimes when I needed to. And, uh, you know, I don't think this whole game is about winning, you know, the most competitions, even though, you know, I did win two, not one competitions, <laughs> and uh, so uh, what? What it, it, uh, the one, the the quiz, whatever faces, <laughs> yes, the faces. But uh, no, you're smart people. You know, you love Big Brother, and uh, you know, I know you'll make a good decision. And uh, thank you. Thank you, Lane. Thank you both. I think you're both played the game well, and I think you're both social players. So I'm going to have to say who is the best best social player. You know where my heart is, and I was missing socks while I was gone. Thank you, Kathy. My vote, a uh, major factor, is going in part to the person who I think was most active in the decision and execution of stabbing me in the back. It was a great power move. I love it. Congratulations. My vote is going to go to the person I think played the best social game. Ultimately, I think one of you is here to win a half a million dollars, and one of you was here to give it away. If it couldn't be me, I am so glad that it's between two spectacular people who I just love and adore. So good luck to you both, and may the best man win. My decision is probably going to be between who needs a haircut, who needs a shave. That's what I'm going with. That's what I'm going with. So I don't know. We got to see. The first vote was cast by Rachel, and it goes to Lane to be the winner of Big Brother. Kathy has cast her vote for Hayden to be the winner of Big Brother. Matt's vote goes to Hayden. Two votes Hayden, one vote Lane. Brendan has cast his vote for Lane to be the winner of Big Brother. Two votes Hayden, two votes Lane. I'm realizing I'm putting these in the wrong boxes, so I'm going to just casually switch them now. You get the point. <laughs> Trying to match up how they're sitting in the house. It's a nail biter, what can I tell you? Reagan's vote goes to Hayden. Be the winner of Big Brother. Hayden three, Lane two. Brittany's vote goes to Lane to be the winner of Big Brother, which means, gentlemen, your brigade brother Enzo 
has cast the deciding vote, and the winner of Big Brother is... Congratulations, Hayden.